Hello, 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 and welcome to not an unboxing, but a little look at the Oh By The Way Pink Floyd box set. Um, yeah, I bought this when it came out all those years ago, and um, so many people have asked about it and asked whether this is better than the Discovery box set that I thought I'd do a little guide to it. As you can see, it's got all, all the studio albums that you expect to find in a Pink Floyd box set, and it's got this uh, Storm Thorgerson designed outer sleeve, which is kind of clever. Uh, again, there's all the albums, just in case you're unfamiliar with them. And um, and again, the, the artwork's kind of duplicated on the other side. Now watch. Ooh, look at the action on that. Shall I do it again? Ooh, there's something quite stirring and enjoyable. Oh, one more time. Oh no, <laughs> fooled you. But anyway, so it's a box within a box, and um, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Um, nice design, and um, and there are the discs. So yeah, they take up you know don't take up too much space. You get a nice kind of bookend coastry type thing with the design on it's you know good quality thick card as you can see the print what print in is um, is first class and the first disc out will be Piper at the Gates of Dawn and as you can see it's um, lovely and shiny the cardstock is thick and it's got the original design unlike the albums in the 2011 Discovery Edition which have been generally mucked around with and as you can see, it's just like the original, and um, they all come with these little plasticky sleeves, which are a bugger to handle, as you probably know. And it's got a kind of a homage to the original Columbia label, which is nice. Again, no fucking pyramids to be seen, not like those goddamn awful Discovery editions. Um, yeah, give it a shake. That's what she said. And um, we'll move on to the next disc, which is Source Full of Secrets. Again, lovely and shiny, thick cardstock. It's just, you know, it just replicates the original album so, so nicely. And it's so superior as a product compared to those Discovery Editions. Again, you've got the original artwork there. You know, it's... Um, you know, it's just authentic. It's what more could you want? And uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the little disc again. There comes with this little plastic wrapper again, Columbia label. And uh, yep, very very nice. Again, the actual quality of the printing and the cardstock in all of these reissues is is superb, and superior. And now we're on to this shiny one from more. Uh, again, it's just you know, I can't I can't impress on you, dear viewer, just how superior these are as a product. See, lovely and thick cardstock, and it, they replicate the original album very very well. Of course, uh, the only thing that's different is this little chap here to tell you it's the fortieth. Edition. It's kind of clever because they've done it in the, the, the face from uh, from the uh, from the last album. So here we go. We're back. Put that one back in the box, and out is the first double, which is Amagama. And again, these are, are thick and chunky to handle. Um, yeah, oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. And um, again, it's just you know the print quality is good. The reproduction of the artwork is is spot on. I have absolutely no complaints to make with regards to these replica replications of the original. And again, you've got the you know the inner sleeve. I mean, I don't think they're even that's even in the new reissue. Um, and there you go, Harvest label this time. Um, you know, so if you, if all you, you old farts who are around at the beginning who had the original vinyl were watching, you, you know that is what the, uh, the labels look like. You know? No, no, no pyramids, no uh, psychedelic vomiting onto a CD. It's all um, rather, 
rather subdued in comparison. Uh, as you can hear me, I'm <laughs> desperately wrestling <laughs> with the, in the bags. Uh, and now we've got... Are you ready? Moo! Yeah, it's time for the cow. Look at the udders on that one. And um, there are no modern cows. These are the authentic 1960s cows. And again, it's a lovely reproduction of the original album. Uh, good solid cardstock, very very shiny. You know, you could use it as a as a shaving mirror. And um, yeah, of course, some of the print you can't quite is quite illegible, but that that was always a problem with the design in the first place. And um, and there you go. It's uh, yeah, a lovely lovely piece to hold. Again, people have been asking, oh, but, you know, the new ones are remastered, or if it, does it sound better than this one? And it's like, well, do you take your pick, really? Pink Floyd albums, you know, oh, now this one has a matte sleeve. Again, it's just like the original album. And I think I think the actual, the artwork reproduction of this is, is better. Uh, got much more definition. And uh, and there's the, 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 there are the ugly mugs inside. I remember finding a copy of this in the second record shop locally, and it was 99p, and I, I thought, oh, I've got a bargain. I opened it up, and someone had drawn penises on over all the, the band members' faces. Reminds me of the time I found a Roxy Music album, and somebody had written uh, Eddie the Wanker Jobson on over his face. Uh, so I, that's what I call him now, Eddie the Wanker Jobson. But I digress. Uh, it's a lovely reproduction of metal there. And um, now this one is uh, look. This one's completely different. It's very, very, very flimsy. Um, again, it's just like the original sleeve, uh, which is my my one's all tatty because it's you know such a, th a thin piece of card. But um, they've really you know done you know really it really is just like the original. It's always like a piece of, piece of paper. But yeah, I mean people have been saying you know you know are oh, the new remasters do they sound better? They're slightly louder. Pink Floyd's albums don't really need remastering. They sound pretty good anyway, um, you know. So you're not exactly going to, you know, learn anything new uh, from the remasters. I mean, these ones are perfectly adequate. Now, I think you might be familiar with this one. You, you, do you know this album? Again, this is very shiny. Uh, the cardstock is thick, and it's it is absolutely deluxe. If you love this album, you're gonna love this miniature. <laughs> oh, look at it takes you back doesn't it uh, again the print quality is superb you can you know it's all legible you can read it um, and when I get out the uh, CD you'll notice again it re re replicates the label perfectly not like the fucking abortion that you get with the new discovery experience whatever you want to call them remasters this is how it's done but wait there's something else this is something you don't get with the new discs. Look at this. Oh, what's in here? Um, you get... Are you ready? You get the a little reproduction of the original stickers that came with the album, which are, which are really sweet and dinky. And you get um, the stereographic picture of the pyramids. I think it's supposed to wear 3D glasses. My original one was more purple. I used to have them on the bedroom wall, you know, both these posters. And I think they were supposed to be like stereo stereograms and you'd wear glasses and make them 3D. Well, I might have dreamt that. I'm sure some clever bastard will uh, correct me. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Again, these are, these are really good. I, mean, I like these. Um, you know, <laughs> if you've got a doll's house, you could put them in those, I suppose. But... You know, this is something that makes the whole experience authentic, and it is about experience. It is, you know, when you buy one of these box sets, you know, you want to feel like you've, um, you know, you've got something that, you know, is is authentic, and you know, not like the, the the current reproductions, which just feel like they've been knocked off by some, you know, Chinaman in a sweatshop. You know. Anyway, let's move on now. Again. The, the the next album, which is Wish You Were Here, came in a uh, originally came in like a polythene bag, and this is exactly the same. It's got a a lovely little bag, and there is a sticker. Let's see, it's that authentic. There's a sticker on the front. I didn't even bother with this artwork in the new remasters. They didn't even bother name checking it, which is I think completely wrong. And because this is an iconic album, now I've got to be very careful here because I'm trying to preserve 
the uh, plastic bags are very, very, very gently, gingerly opening it all up. E. And um, inside, you will see. Come on, Darren. Pull your finger out. There it is. Again, it's um, thick cardstock, shiny, excellent print quality. Yeah, the, the back cover we're familiar with now. And uh, oh, what's in there? It's a little postcard. And um, I suppose you could you could send that to uh, some a little, a little person. And uh, again, it replicates what came with the original album. And the sleeve again in the sleeve in the bag looks exactly how it should. Again, you can even sing along if you don't know the words. And inside, again, a lovely reproduction for you. I'll put the camera there. Whoops. Uh, and you can hear me wrestling with the inner bag, trying to get everything back in. I could edit this out, but this allows me to witter on whilst I fiddle about. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really do like this box set. I think it's, it's very, very good. And, you know, you know, it just is not very good when you're trying to put everything back together again. But see, I've got it. I've got it back in a bag. It's going, to, it's going back in the box. Uh, now the next album up is of course uh, Animals, and again lovely reproduction. The colours are you know, perfect. You know, the the artwork is exactly what it's like on the LP version, including all the black and white photographs inside there. And when you get the little, it's got its own little inner bag as well, which has got the lyrics on. And I just have great fond memories of playing this record to death when I was a teenager. I think I wore it out. I remember taking it back to Smith's and getting another copy made out that I just bought it and it was forty. Uh, you know, in those days they were they didn't ask for your for your uh, receipt. So uh, and there you go, it's got uh, the dog, the wolfhound on the on the cover there. Is that Seamus? Who knows? And uh, I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, but it, it's just like having a mini version of animals in your hand. What more could you want? I bet you're all reaching for your credit cards and trying to find a copy of this now, aren't you? You should be. And here we have the wall. Now again, it's this a sticker. I don't know if you can make that out there. Yep, there you go. That is a sticker there. You can peel that off. Again, it's authentic like the album. The current incarnation has that letter in printed on. It's very good card stuff again, very thick, very satisfying to open. Again, it's it is just, just like the LP version, but done in miniature. Uh, good reproduction of all the, all the artwork there. But yeah, as, as I was saying, the Discoveries the edition's got it all printed on the cover. You could lose in the sticker, so personally, I think that's an abomination. And um, and there you go, you've got all the lyrics on the inner bag, just like the original LP. Uh, you might need your spectacles if you're of a certain age or a magnifying glass. Uh, and there's the there's, there's the, the artwork there on the disc, which is uh, all very nice and jolly. And here we go again. Again, you probably will need your eyesight testing after reading all those lyrics and singing along. Great album, the wall. I don't listen to it as much as I, I, mean, I used to again. I used to play it to death when I was a teenager, but I haven't played it in a few years. Quite like the film, though. I've got a lot of time for the film. I know a lot of people don't like it, but hey, if you want a surround sound version of the album, listen to the movie because um, the DVD's got a surround sound mix, I believe. 5.1. Do like that. Do like that film. Got a lot of time for it. And uh, on to the next one. Which is the final cut. Very shiny, very very shiny. Again, matches all the rest of the albums in the in the box set. And again, the the reproduction is first class. You can read everything there, and there's a little there's a little picture with a knife sticking out his back, 
and open it up. Oh, satisfying crack of cardboard and print as the as I open up the gate field and see it's even got all the lyrics and let's have a look at the disc do, 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 like field of poppies there you go and um and certainly better than the uh, the new version and there you go put that back in there that was fairly painless do, 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 do. and momentary lapse of reason now i remember my lp version not being a, not being a gloss it was being a matte a matte album but they've kind of glossified this one it's got coated paper so it's nice and shiny i guess probably just to match it with the rest of the records but um you know it's a good reproduction of the artwork you know all the beds and oh another satisfying crack there um you know and then there's the well there's only two members of the band in the picture because uh, I think Richard Wright was still having a breakdown and there's the Roger Waters lookalike sailing off into the sunset and it's got a look at the disc yep comes with another little inner bag there with all the lyrics on that is again authentic with the LP and um, do -do -do. and that's yeah that's one of the one of the labels that came off the LP I think it was two they labels on different sides to go and check my P version later, and uh, and now for the division bell. Are you ready for the big ugly faces? Forget pyramids. We've got ugly faces now. Here it comes. Ooh. And um, there you go. Very shiny again. I, don't, I didn't know own the LP to this one, so I don't know how authentic it is. Oh, another satisfying crack. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, this is getting terrible, isn't it? And um, more ugly faces than you can wave a, a, an ugly stick at. And let's have a look at the inner bag. Oh, look, there's another detail of an ugly face. They just run out of ideas. They just said, look, let's put these stone faces everywhere. And eventually everyone will say that they're iconic. And we'll browbeat them down. And, uh, yeah, I mean, getting the lettering so small. I'm getting a headache just trying out. Come on, camera, can you focus in on that? Very painful to read. And uh, I always remember the CD release that had brow down the side of the, uh, of the case. So if you were blind, talking of losing your eyesight, <laughs> what about that for a mental connection? You could actually read it with your thumb if you were blind and you could read brow. That was very clever. I was always thought that was clever. Custom CD case that was. And, um, and then you've got the, you've got something, you've got another little goodie at the end here, which is just out of shot. I'm just going to pull it in. All rather mysterious. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? You're gonna like this. Here it comes. Ooh. So I'm trying to build up suspense and tension. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a poster. <laughs> you thought it was going to be something good. No, it's just a it's just a poster. But it's quite a nice nice poster. It's a big poster, and I'm going to have a hell of a time closing it up again. So, um, as you can see, it's got all the, heart, the artwork there from all the albums. Just smooth it out. It's quite a size. You know, can't quite get it all into shots. I'm going to have to just wiggle my camera. So just bear with me there. There you go. You can see this. All the artwork there that's been used by the band in recent years. Um... Yeah, I think that looked nice on a, on a bedroom wall somewhere. But I think the missus would agree that um, I'm now going to fold it up, and there will be rough rustling noises and, and huffing and puffing, and some swear words muttered under my breath as I try to figure out. It's like a chimp trying to you know, get an ant, ant out of an ant hill with a stick. I'm 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 struggling. Can you hear it? Can you hear me struggling? I, I, do you know those, you know those maps, you know, <laughs> if you've read those, those road maps and you open them up and you're, you know, you're passenger in the car and you're trying to find somewhere and then you can't fold the, the thing back up again. That's what the, that was like. Uh, but anyway, enough of me wittering on. I'm, I'm wittering on, but I'm buying time. I could have just edited this. I could have been smart like all the other YouTubers and edited the, the crap out. But you can look at the lovely carpet. It's a lovely carpet. It was uh, hoovered, hoovered today, so, uh, you know. No, no pubic hairs or bogies and ah here we go that's the other placemat which replicates the artwork from the box set and i'll just slip it back in 
that's what she said and um, we are ready to close up for the day and that has been the oh by the way Pink Floyd box set containing all the albums in miniature form I think it's rather smart I think you'll think it's rather smart if you disagree and you prefer the discovery box set then you're a fucking idiot that's it that's all I've got to say on the subject I like it go and buy yourself a copy because you know it's a superior product my name's been Darren Locke and I've been talking about oh by the way by Pink Floyd prog on